Get off me, I'm gonna kick you. Stop touching me, you ugly asshole. To a shootout that killed a man. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure you don't have any weapons. Here is why you should keep your cool when encountering cops. When officers responded to a couple stuck in the snow, they did not realize what was coming their way. You were stuck, Kua, bro. What's your name, bro? Uh, Drew. Drew? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Do you have a license, Drew? I'm sorry? Do you have your license? No, but I wasn't driving. She was driving. Oh, okay, I, I'm cool. I'm just trying to get out the hole. Okay, cool, bro. I just want to know who I'm talking to. Yeah. It's, it's Drew and Chantal. There seems to be something fishy about the couple, and the cops sense it immediately. What's your date of birth? Sir? What's your date of birth? Okay, but you were in the driver's seat. Okay, you were in the driver's seat. All right. So, okay, you were in the driver's seat with the vehicle on. Okay. The couple does not have a license, and they can't seem to justify their mistake. Things escalate when the cop approaches the man. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure you don't have any weapons. Don't fucking move! Do not fucking move! Drop the fucking gun! Drop the fucking gun! Drop the gun! Let me see your hands! Let me see your fucking hands! Do not move! Put your fucking hands up! Don't fucking move! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold him! Hold him right there! Hold him right there! Let me secure it! 292 dispatch! Shots fired! Shots fired! One down, one down! Yeah, hold on. Oh. Hold on. Hold on, man. You alright? He's fucking dead, dude. I know. Fuck! He's still alive. He's... My gun's right here. Help me! Where's the gun? I can't see it. Please don't let him die. It's right there. Hold. You don't have a gun on you. No, no, get, get in the car now! I seen that fucking barrel straight, as hey. straight at me. <sighs> the man, later identified as Andrew Castellano, was awaiting trial for attempted murder. He died on the scene. Bro! Bro, I told y'all dumbasses! I told y'all dumbasses! She was gonna be fat! Traffic stop turned into a crazy encounter when a cop noticed a woman driving the wrong way. He decided to stop the car. Little did he know the woman would get on his nerves from the very first second. No, leave the window no, no. down. You know, man, this is not illegal. You can put my window up if you want to. Leave the window down. It don't matter. It don't matter if I put my window up or down. It yes, don't it give a to you. Leave the window down. It don't care. It don't matter to her. I need you to come get me. She's not, she, she not going to... What, no what one's doing anything with your dog. I'm talking about my dog. No, I need my mom to come get my dog. We are on Center Street and Hickory Street. I need you to come get Daisy because I'm talking to Why would you go to jail? I'm not talking to you, lady. The police pulled us over, and this lady on bullshit. These ladies is on bullshit. I don't know. They're not even saying Knowing nothing about the law, the adult female calls her parents thinking that she is going to jail. Oh, I will. Don't worry about it. Girl, you know I ain't got no f***ing weapon. Step back. Thing on you, right? No, obviously not. I would have reached. Yeah, I would have reached your ass. I would have reached your ass. Don't worry about it. 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 Can you shut the door so my dog don't hop out in the f***ing traffic? Can you shut the door? Can you shut the door so my dog? Can you shut the door so my dog goes step? Can you put the window up so my dog goes step out into traffic? Can you put the window up? Can you put the window up so my dog goes step into traffic? He's fine. I'm right here. What's he talking about? The woman sure knows how to turn a simple traffic stop into multiple charges. Oh, okay. But I'll hold her now. Yeah, she's on the leash. Okay. If you look. <laughs> Hold on, one second. Be right. 
I'm more the older, okay? If the police pulled me over? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. If the police pulled me over, we bang. So, the police pulled me over. I'm about one, two, three, four, probably like, let me see. Yeah, four deep. The police pulled me over. So, no, I ain't driving nothing. The woman almost doesn't know what she is trying to say. A typical sign of drunk behavior. Something in this car. Y'all tweaking. Y'all better go find some other criminals. Y'all slow. There ain't nothing in this car. <laughs> Y'all is slow. Y'all better hurry up and play a song, cause there ain't nothing in this car. Y'all you're dumb. Y'all better take me to jail. Y'all thirsty asses. Y'all so f***ing thirsty for a crime. Go on the f***ing east side to get somebody dirty. What the y'all doing over here? Like, y'all so dumb. Like, are y'all that, uh, are they that dumb? Like, if Remo ain't do nothing, are y'all slow? No, but when I asked you when I was in the passenger seat, I said, where are we at? You didn't even know. <laughs> be so, be so for real right now. Like, you didn't even know. Are we one, two, three, four, five, six? Probably more cars back there. No, but there's another car right there. What's going on, bro? Hey, God, no. Gotta go pee. I'm sorry. Okay. She told me. Maybe she gotta go pee, bro. Maybe she gotta go pee. Back in the car. Anybody talk to y'all? No, 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 no. Fall down with her. Don't be calling her. No. I'm talking to both of them. They both. Down. No. 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 Yes. no. Somebody yeah. touch me, y'all. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I ain't touch me. What are y'all, bro? Fifi, stop. Stop. When nobody comes to her rescue, the woman throws a huge tantrum. Y'all thirsty for right, some on, shit. Man, step in the car. Shut the f up. Get the f off. Get the f off me. Hey, relax. Shut the f The terrible attitude continues. Can you even see me? Not one. Blink one. What could have been a simple traffic stop turned into charges of aggravated battery to a police officer and resisting arrest. Get in the car. A complaint was received about a woman throwing rocks at the vehicle's windshields. When the cops arrived on the scene, they had to battle the woman into an arrest. Put them behind your back. Do you have any weapons on you? I haven't done nothing wrong. Okay, put your hands okay, behind your back. I'm gonna pat back. you down. Grab your hands. Stop. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back for us, okay? Hey, you wanna help me? Hey, hey. Help me. We want this. Hey. Can you stop and put your hands behind your back so we can talk to you? We're trying to help you out so you don't go to jail. The woman cut the female cop's hands with her fingernails. She has some stop tears. What did you say? Nailing. Then, she spit on the face of the male officer. Okay, look at two five, what are you doing? Don't touch me, bitch. I'm going to. Don't. <laughs> and when all of this was not enough, she also kicked the officer. At this point, she is making sure to go to jail for a longer time. Don't touch me, bitch. I'm going to. Don't. 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 Take a seat. Take a seat. You're gonna do a pat down real quick. Spread your feet for us. I have to do a, just a quick pat down. She keeps okay. spitting. Yeah, she keeps spitting and trying to bite. Don't touch you. Stop kicking. Put her over there. What you gonna do, bitch? Don't touch my leg. Put your mouth out of Yeah. Get in the car. Get in the car. Okay. Kick 
The woman will be taken to jail on the charges of assault on police officers. A 911 call was received about an old white man yelling racial slurs in the apartment complex hallway and threatening to kill people. All right. When my roommate, Mr. Troy Johnson, who is now in apartment 22, okay. did not like my use of the animal. Okay. And I said, dude, I've heard every white in the world. I'm just trying to say I'm trying not to. But I've heard every white in the world use that word when I was seven years old and I was written by six black men. That kind of gives me the right to use in my opinion. No, it doesn't. That's ignorant. Yes, ignorant. What was ignorant is the fact that you still call me crap. That you guys still think it's okay to, you know, call him, me, you know, racially derogatory terms. But if I drop the N word one time, then suddenly it's racist. But I just got me fucked up. Because of that? Yeah. How many Five, all in 22? and all fucking trying to climb her up and say they didn't do it. The man claimed he was assaulted by his five black neighbors in the hallway. Okay, so this so was in the hallway. 22, yes. So you I'm stepped out in the hallway and that's when you were attacked by him. Good. Five people in 22. Five people in 22. Yeah, so you can see all the security camera. In the security camera, it appeared to be the old man's fault in starting the fight. I have a right, you know, to freedom, religion, speech. But you, you understand, like using yeah, racial that's, slurs that's, can incite but people I didn't to violence. Do that. But you also understand that if they use racial slurs against me, that also incites violence. Yes, but that doesn't give either one of you the right to put your hands on each other. They put their hands on me. I did not put my hands on them. Let's find out what the neighbors have to say about this old man's attitude. Don't you say it, no? He jumps out of his apartment and put him up. And the white neighbor's like, come you just start the shit. Yeah. Got the fight. He busted his ass up. And he goes, and now I don't know if y'all remember a couple months ago. Do you remember? I don't know. There was another white man involved in the fight, and the old man made it all about his rights as a white man against his black neighbors. Beat my ass. Okay. And then I had to fight him. Okay. Are you hurt at all? Yeah, I was. <laughs> I got my ass kicked. Okay, but he didn't. He, he, had, he had fucking all his friends over there. Okay. I had no friends. I have no friends over here. Hey, Ron, so quick, I, are I, you, I didn't are you do stabbed it. or anything? Huh? Are you stabbed or anything? He had a big ass knife, a machete. I want to make. He, he, no, he told me he was going to cut me up. Okay, but you didn't get stabbed. No, he, he did not okay. stab me. Did you I, need... I, I, man, I moved. I moved yeah. as fast as you know. Do you need could... a medic or anything? No, I, I don't think so. The cops go back to the old man and let him know that they know the truth. Each one of them that was one of them attacking me. Okay, well, what I'm hearing from other people is that you attacked Ron. When he defended himself, other people pulled him off. Why would I? Uh, why would I, I have no attack, idea. Why would I attack a white girl, a white guy with racial slurs? I'm not saying you attack him with racial slurs. I'm saying you attack him with your fist. But other people in this building of different races are claiming that you're making terrible statements that could lead to you getting your ass beat. And you know what? Making you're provocations wrong. and fighting you're words. Wrong. Oh, were you not making racial slurs? I did to my roommate, okay. not directly to him or about him. You understand but because saying stuff like that can provoke people to fight. No, and I put him out of my apartment because he couldn't accept the fact that I said what I had to say. I said, get the fuck out of my apartment. Okay, so it sounds like you're pissing people off to the place where they're causing this. It's my apartment! Then stay in your apartment. That's what I did! How did you get your ass beat in the hallway if you stayed in your apartment? Because they came down knocking on my door. Oh, Check no. the fucking security cameras. Okay. I'm getting three different stories. But a lot yeah, of them that, 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 that fucking listen to them motherfuckers. Okay. Yeah, listen Go down to here them. and talk to them. And I'm going to say if we can... I. No, you cannot. Go down there and listen to them. I'm getting real fucking tired of this. Go down there, act like an adult, and listen to what the men have to say. Fuck them. Hey, you want to say it loud enough to have somebody else come down here and beat your ass? Hey, get a witness statement. 
good? I'm going to jail. Ah! Brad Minnesota. I'm going to fly you back. I've had enough. Yep. Tell people you're gonna chop their head. You don't loosen up, I'm gonna throw you on the ground. I'm loosen up. Loosen up. When it was clear that the old man got beaten up for using racial slurs, he would be arrested for inciting violence. Yeah, it's mine. Okay. You didn't have a right to hit me in this. I gotta make sure you don't have any drugs inside you. Careful. Watch your head. Get your feet in there. Get your feet in there. I'm trying to. Get your feet in there. Get my ass in here first. I have Matt, African American family and friends. So I, I personally I find it offensive. You. Your language and your attitude. I so have you need two to do me a favor daughters. and shut the fuck up. I have two half daughters. Step back. Step back. Okay. Let's do Step back, man. Get off. Get off my. Get off my window. An officer in the Costco parking lot would be approached by a young man and asked for a ride home. Things will escalate pretty soon. I don't know what to tell you, man. Go hang out in Starbucks, call for a ride. What, what do you want me to do for you, man? Do you, do you want to go to the deep, or do you want to go... Do you want to get cited for underage drinking? I, I can't give you a ride home. I don't have a cage in the back to give you a ride. And right now, you're... In, Instead of giving the young man a ride, the officer called his mother to come back and pick her son up. However, as the conversation went on a little longer, the officer noticed slurred speech and the smell of alcohol. The young man, later identified as 18-year-old Joshua Owens, got angry at the officer for not shaking hands. The next thing we know, Owens throws rocks at the cop. All right, next time I'll, I'll shoot you in your fucking face, bro. You're gonna shoot me in my face? Yeah, next okay. time I'll see you, I'll shoot you in your fucking okay, face. Okay, that's great, man. All right, yeah, yeah. I got one. There's a picture. Yeah, I'll shoot you in your fucking face. Okay, go to the Starbucks. You don't give me no respect like that, bro. Go to the Starbucks, give me. No, I'm gonna shaking go to jail. your hand, sir. No, nobody's gonna shake your hand. Take off walking. All right, picture. All right, man. Yep. As the officer was leaving, Owens threw rocks at the vehicle as the car went past him. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. You're gonna get tased. You're gonna get tased. Get on the ground. Get on the fucking ground now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. You're gonna get tased, bro. You're gonna get tased. You're gonna get tased. You need to get on the ground. Get on the ground, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. This is when Owen realizes his terrible attitude has consequences. Owen's slurred speech and gibberish talk have made it clear he has been out and about drinking heavily. Owens will be charged with disorderly conduct, 
unlawful propulsion of missiles, resisting arrest, and attempted aggravated assault on an officer. You're just at the store. You're not supposed to be at the store. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Because I remember you. I walked over to you. Stop. Stop. I do. I remember your tattoos. I remember the same jewelry. Are you supposed to be at the store? You know, you know, you're not supposed to be at the same. Yeah, they buy me some cigarettes. I'm not they harassing you. Harassing you. you were always wearing the same jewelry. Yeah, 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 I'm not the issue. A bunch of people out here wearing jewelry. You're okay. harassing me. Okay. These people have no idea why they have been caught red handed in drug trafficking by the police. They were captured by hidden cameras selling and buying narcotics. One more thing I have to say. I'm sorry, you didn't say that. No, I was. No, I had to go for the car. I picked him up from right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to tell him, bro. I ain't going to tell him nothing. I'm on the phone trying to get my cash at the car. So if I check the cameras, about so like 10, 15 minutes or. You can go check the camera 10, 15 minutes. I've been over here. Like, I wasn't even at the store or nothing. I'm on the phone trying to get my cash. So you, so you weren't at the store at all today? Bro, no. Bro, usually they'll know, bro, because I have a car. Like, they'll know. Like, I wasn't even waiting on, to, waiting on my phone because my cash app not working. My internet not working. Like, I promise you, bro, I got a whole day. Like. The man continues to foreshadow the police officer and calls for a black cop to deal with him. Somebody, bro, you stay harassing me, bro. I came out there store buying me some cigarettes, bro. Take you seen, yo? Take a seat. I'm talking. Bro, take a seat. I want to talk to a black dude, bro, because you're harassing me, bro. I have never. Yes or no? Have... Yes or no? Yes, I can go there because I have. I'm a citizen, bro. Nobody have never and arrested me, me and told me I cannot go to that store. Nobody have never arrested so me. And me so me and my partner never warned you not to come back. No. Okay. okay. Take a seat. Take a seat, bro. Take a seat. Thank you. When the black cop enters the scene, it's over for the man. I'm company. I am who I am. So they keep me. Make me no damn money. Man, they don't make no damn money. I can put the money in. I don't care about, about what, what you got. got. The female cop will let the man know who the real boss is in this situation. Man, I'm not joking. No way. I'm don't already in the way. From me, bro. I'm, camera, I'm already in the way. You can't make me right here too. You can't make me touch nothing. Yeah, I'm telling you. Identify I'm telling. Take me to the station. Identify me, brother. You can't make me touch nothing, bro. Man, you can't make me touch nothing, bro. Man, you can't make me touch nothing, dude. Bro, you cannot make me touch nothing, man. Watch. Man. Watch. Hey! Hey, man, you need to try to break my arm, man. Hey, man. Man, you can't make me touch nothing, man. You can't make me touch shit, nigga. Stop it. You can't make me touch nothing, Damn. man. Man, this nigga talk. Yeah, hey, this is right. Hey, man, this nigga trying to make me touch this thing, man. The female cop comes to the rescue. Man! Don't grab me, because uh, that's not going to work for you. Man. Relax. I ain't gonna relax, relax. no way you violate me, man. Nobody's violating you, violating yourself, bro. Bro. Man, I ain't relaxing nowhere, man. People Just fuck by none of that Just shit, nigga. Out, fuck you talking about? Shut up, bro. You only making it worse. Man, I ain't making feel. nothing worse. So break that bitch. Come on, bro. Get your fingerprint, bro. I'm done. Get your fingerprint. Oh, you I'm ready done, now? Nigga. Get your fingerprint. I'm All done. Right, appreciate I got what I need. Okay, appreciate it. I got what I need. Y'all got that shit on cap? Got what I need. This one, man. Got what I need. Right All right, give me this one. Shit. All right, man, just go. Right, bro. Dude, dude, you punch me in my goddamn. I got it. He elbowed me in my in my you make it. The female cop not only punches the man after getting elbowed by him, she will also press charges. So you're saying you elbow her Listen, because we're bad. harassing. No, y'all are That's what you basically Listen, said. I'm trying to get my own. I'm a handcuff. Now right. is, I refuse to tell y'all who I am. Y'all got to take the, it. When you go to Harris County, it's a thing down there. They're going to find out exactly who everybody is. You supposed to go, OK, you don't want to tell us who you is? We're going to take you to the station. I'm already in the car. You drag me out the, excuse me. You drag me out the car. The officers discover cash in the man's pocket. And let us tell you, those are some big bucks. I got money in my pocket. I got money in my back pocket. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to count in front of you, because I don't want you coming back saying listen, that listen, there's money missing. No. Hey. Yeah, well, he elbowed a deputy. He elbowed a deputy. Yeah, because they, I, I, because they dragged. They wanted yeah. to try to find out who I was. I refused to tell them who I was. So he dragged me out the car, which is against the law. No, it's not. Yes, it is. The man continues to lie about the cash in his pocket. The female cop confronts the man after things de-escalate. Use of force, I gotta do the whole nine. It's my charge now. So you don't have a choice but to talk to me. It is what it is at this point. Oh, I don't have to, I don't have to be respectful for somebody just punch me in my jaw. 
I can I can be a deputy, which is what I'm doing. Man, how did I punch you? My, my you elbowed never, me. My, exactly. So now you're lying. My fist never even touched you, man. Well, and hey, none, none of this would have never it's, happened. It's right here on none camera. of this would have never happened if you would have never dragged me out the car. I'm already in the car. If you don't believe who I am, take me to the precinct. It's a, it's a machine down there gonna find out exactly what. That's I am. exactly what we have. The machine. machine right here to find out who you were. And I refuse to do that. The man will be taken to jail. No further information is available on the charges. To watch more videos of intense suspect cop encounters, subscribe to our channel.